Hey guys, this is SB and welcome back today to another video inside of my awesome world and first things first We're gonna add a new fish to the fish tank. Today's fish is gonna be a bucket of silver red flopper So as you may be able to guess this is going to be a silver. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you in here first. So I'm gonna dig a little hole, okay? I'll show you what the fish looks like. It's a silver and red flopper. So there he is in there, the little fellow. He's He's dying. He's going Well, that that wasn't part of the plan um, <laughs> turns out down there there's a little slab gap that he could get through. I didn't realise that these were just slabs. I thought they were full, but what a scam. I don't know. Well, um, looks like we're, uh, we're gonna be eating this fish. <laughs> oh man, I feel really bad, but, uh, there's not a lot you can do about that. Well, we're not gonna be adding a new fish to the fish tank today. Let's, um, let's carry on and get another fish in the, uh, from the, the thing. So today's, there's a reward fish. Let's go and see what challenge. Hey, I remembered something today as well. Look, I brought a birch plank. Which means, you know what I can do with that? I can go ahead and make a birch button. So now I can get rid of this button, which I've, I've been trying to remember to do this for so, so long. Uh, so let's go and get rid of that. And then press that. And now, look at that. That's way more discreet, isn't it? That, that'll despawn that button. Way more discreet. You can go and press that. And uh, job done. But before I do that, I want to address something else as well. Uh, so not last episode, but the episode before. We went to the end and we travelled to the outer islands. And when we got back... There was an ender dragon in the overworld. It was it was really crazy. Um, it was a glitch, quite clearly. Um, and I I don't I kind I can't really replicate it very. I can't seem to. I don't know how it happened really, but it happened. The ender dragon is right there, which is the spawn point in my world. Um, I'll show you a quick clip of uh, of, it, of it right now. So then the plan was for the next episode after that to uh, to investigate the Ender Dragon, see if I could get it to move, if I could take it out, whatever I could do, just just see, you know, what it was. So, but however, when I closed the world um, and went back onto the world, the Ender Dragon, I, I went back on and the Ender Dragon was just gone. It just despawned, disappeared, the game and fixed itself. I went to the end, it wasn't in the end either, so I don't know what happened there, but the game just fixed itself and the Ender Dragon despawned. So, unfortunately, nothing happened there, but I didn't address it last episode. I meant to, I just forgot to, so I thought, you know what, I'll... Uh, I'll let you guys know. I'll explain. Some of you will be uh, waiting for an explanation. Just the guys that are asking the comments and stuff. What happened to the Ender Dragon SP? Well, now you know. That's what happened. So anyway, let's go and press this button. This is not only going to make it harder for anyone else to find a way, and it's going to make it harder for me to find a way, isn't it? Oh, well, at least I know where the button is so I can press it. Right, we're going to go and get scanned, and we're going to be allowed through. Okay, moving on down. Can we eat this fish? <laughs> Today's fish in the fish tank sadly got eaten. That's, uh, well, not sad for me. I don't mind. Right, we'll get our eye scanned. It has allowed me through. Moving on now to show. Look at him there. Did you see that? He saw me coming from a mile off and looked straight at me. I've never seen him look at me like that before. Right, let's uh, carry on. Good morning, Sean, by the way. Uh, we've got no dog for today. I can't really bring one anyway. And uh, Miles, how are you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Are you coming out? Oh, come on out. Come on out then. Come on. There you go. Have a walk. Oop, I got you stuck there, didn't I? <laughs> can you fit out? Or do I have to stand on both pressure plates? There you go. Out you come. You can have a walk around. And uh, good morning, Fred. So, I need to find the materials and craft a TNT minecart. You haven't even looked at me, Fred, as usual, looking at your windows. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I just have to mention windows, and he says hello. All right, so we've got to find the materials and craft a TNT minecart. So I've got to... Okay, well, that's going to be interesting. So what are we going to need for that? We're going to need sand, we're going to need iron, and we're going to need gunpowder. Okay, that's an interesting combination. So for the gunpowder, we're going to have to search down some creepers. We're going to have to find some iron. Where will there be iron? I suppose there'll be going to be iron over that way. Sometimes there is creepers about uh, walking around my world, so... Uh, we can see if we can see any creepers on the way as well. Um, I do know where I should be able to find creepers, if not over here. So let's let's start with the iron. That's going to be, I think, the the hardest thing to find. The sand shouldn't be a problem. There's literally sand everywhere down there, so I can get the sand. All right, TNT minecart. Let's do it. So yeah, iron. Uh, I'm I'm kind of going over towards where this mountain is, hoping that there will be some iron just on the side from here, perhaps. Like you know, that I don't have to go digging down for. It's it's kind of possibly possible, but at the same time, a little bit unlikely, isn't it? So maybe we're going to have to find a cave. There are caves around here, though, so that's also not an impossibility. Uh, let's go kind of over this direction, just so, yeah, can we spot a little cave going down? It doesn't have to be a, a, a great cave or a huge cave, just one that's going to give me iron, which I suppose is not too much to ask for, is it? So it doesn't look like there isn't anything around here at all. Let's have a look. What's this? There's a hole. It is... Uh, I've just been baited. There was nothing there. Sad times, that. What have we got over here? Another hole. Okay, I mean, I don't really go here, like, in this area here for caving, so I don't really know where there is any specific caves. I do know there is some caves the other side of the mountain, though, so um, I could go into them. There's, like, a massive ravine and all sorts of stuff, so maybe we go across there to find some mine. Looks like that might be my best bet. I think there's an abandoned mine shaft down here somewhere, actually, so it could be the the, uh, the case that that's my best uh, my best bet. Well, we've got a little wolf over there. How you doing, buddy? Uh, all right, we're going to carry on this way. There must be a hole around here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> I I'm sure there's one. 
Okay, here we here we have a bit of swamp. Unless I've gone past it and didn't see it, it's it's somewhere over here. Okay, this is uh, this is my little pathway down the ravine. I remember uh, digging this staircase, so there should be iron at the bottom. This is taking me way longer than it should have, just to find five pieces of iron, and I still haven't found them yet. Okay, it's quite light down here, as you can see. We're in a ravine. All right, so now we've got to try and locate some iron. Okay, two iron. Hopefully, it's more than two. One, two, three, four. Okay, we need one more piece of iron. Okay, that's now it's suddenly so much more doable. Now we found a bit of iron. Um, okay, so this is an abandoned mine shaft. We can put some torches down, and uh, you'd think we could find a bit of iron sneaking around here somewhere. What a challenge this is! Fred has given me a tricky challenge, hasn't he? Okay, oh, there we go. We've got some iron. Whilst I'm here, okay, did I pick up that iron? I think I did. I'll get an extra one just in case. How much have we got? We've got five iron. Perfect. Yeah, whilst I'm here, I might be able to spot a creeper or two. Just might might be worth just having a look around. Emeralds. I'll take that emerald. You know what? Why not? Three emeralds lying on the ground. Okay, we have uh, a zombie there. I'm not too interested in him. I'm interested in finding creepers. <laughs> How often do you say that sentence, huh? Not very often, do you? Okay, I'm going to end up uh, getting lost in this abandoned mine shaft. I'm not careful. Okay, let's go back this way. Hey, your mind. I'm trying to get through here. That's it. Get hit back. Get hit out of here. Uh, let's have a look through here. Oh, I see a creeper. Okay, I have a looting sword. So we could get quite a bit of gunpowder from this if, uh, if all goes to plan. Okay, where did this creeper go? Hopefully he's not just snuck around a corner. Okay, he's gone that way. He's run quite far. Okay, there we go. Creeper hit once. And hopefully this next hit will do the job. Perfect. We got no gunpowder. Are you kidding me? <laughs> a looting sword on a creeper. And I got no gunpowder. That's um, that's pretty unlikely, to be honest. That's that's pretty rare that that's going to happen. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll head back and we'll go and... Um, yeah, we'll go and look. We might see a creeper on the way home, but we'll go home. There is other places I can find creepers, which might be a bit easier. There is a small possibility I'll find some creepers just walking around my world, although they've probably all despawned, I, uh, I should think. So the next plan... Oh, there is some, uh, some mobs over that way. Is there going to be a creeper? Just skeletons and spiders, by the looks thing. So the other place where creepers want it, it's time to get dark as well. <laughs> I don't know how why this is taking me so long. Uh, I'm going to go inside here and uh, grab... Well, see if there's any creepers... Down below, okay, yeah, so down at the bottom of here, it is a very dark room, it's like a mob trap room, so there might be some stuff lurking at the bottom of here, we're about to find out. I don't know how much longer this, this place will work, actually, uh, when the update happens. Looks like we've got some a spider, and that's about it. Um, yeah, not too many mobs lurking around. There is a skeleton in, in uh, that's fallen in, but I think... Uh, oh, I've fallen in myself now. Uh, as far as creepers go, we're, uh, we're a little bit short on them, aren't we? Let's uh, just break our way out of here. And we'll go and uh, get some stone. There is a skeleton looking straight at me. Yeah, he started hitting me now. I was waiting for that. Do you mind, sir? Doesn't look like anything else is going to spawn here either. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will. Uh, I'll f I know exactly where I can find enough gunpowder to make a, uh, a TNT block. I have just the place. Just the idea, okay? And it's at the top of this ladder here, okay? So let's just eat some uh, some pork chops. Look at this. This chest here. I mean, it's. I've found them, all right? There we go. And we can, we can grab a few of those. Why, 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 why look for creepers when we can just do that? There we go. Don't say I didn't try. I tried very hard, okay, <laughs> to find creepers. There'll be creepers everywhere out here now, won't there? Blowing me up non-stop. Okay, so uh, we also need to grab some sand. So let's just do that very, very quickly indeed. There is some... Oh, there's creepers over there now, aren't there? I told you there'd be creepers everywhere. Let's go and grab this sand here. So one, two, three, four, five. I think... I can't remember if it's five sand and five gunpowder or four gunpowder. I think it's five gunpowder, if I remember correctly. So now we need to go to the house, to the kitchen, and uh, and finish the job. So this iron here is going to go into the furnace. And uh, let me check the recipe for TNT if it shows up. Doesn't look like it is going to show up. Why won't it show up? Wait, do I not have enough sand? I only got four sand. I don't think... I don't think I brought enough... <laughs> enough sand, to be honest with you. How did I... How did I not... I'm, I definitely thought I picked them all up. Okay, there is one way around this, okay? One way and only one way. It must be five sand then, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to go and grab some sand from here, okay? There we go. Is there anything I can put in there instead that no one will notice? Bit of gravel, maybe? Might be the only answer here. No one will notice that, okay? If you didn't watch this, you wouldn't know that I just nicked some. Okay, so I have five sand. Hopefully that now means that it is now craftable. Unless I just didn't go... I don't know what's... Going on. Maybe I didn't click on the crafting table properly. Um... Yeah, I must have not pressed the, go on the crafting table because it is four sand. Oh, it's because I just went like that and looked in that inventory, not in the crafting table. I am an idiot. Confirmed. Okay, so we've got TNT now. We've got five things. We can make ourselves, I think, a TNT with my TNT minecart. Uh, what do we need for that? Oh, we need a minecart. Let's, uh, let's get that done first. And then we can make the TNT minecart. There we go. The challenge has been completed. It's now night time, but the challenge is finally... And of course, there's a creeper on the roof. There's always a creeper on the roof. And yeah, he wasn't there when I needed him. I don't know. Right, let's let's go in here. Let's grab that reward fish. Let's put that there instead. 
Well, let me enjoy my uh, second fish of the day. A lot better than the, uh, the tropical fish I accidentally took out. I think I'm going to quickly go to bed. Uh, and then in the morning, we can uh, we can travel to where we're going to be traveling <laughs> and find out what we're going to be doing. So, yeah, I, uh, I'll show you that in a moment. Let's I'll, I'll talk about that in a moment. First things first, let's go to bed. We can go to bed. Thankfully, there's no mobs nearby to keep me awake. That could have been nasty as well. Alrighty, so I need to grab a few things. I need a lightra. Let's grab those. Uh, we need firework rockets. I think that's pretty much everything I need to really bother about. Yeah, I think uh, everything else I can uh, I can worry about another day. Uh, so we're going to go grab the firework rockets and the uh, electric, put them on. And we're going to go flying. So, yeah, we're going to be going to a mushroom isle today. Now, the reason for that is, despite the fact that I've been to a mushroom isle before in my world, there's one fairly close to my house. Um, we'll fly over it on the way. So there is a mushroom isle uh, over this way. Uh, it is uh, just up ahead, you can see it. But it's a very, very small one, okay? And... Um, yeah, there's not too much to it. Now, mushroom isles are very useful because uh, mobs don't, like, uh, hostile mobs don't spawn. So there it was back there, very small. So I've, I've, I've found a massive one. I thought it'd be really cool to explore it today. Um, Look around it. See, it, it's actually really cool set up. Like, it's right next to, like, an iceberg biome, like a frozen ocean thing. So there's icebergs next to it, next to mush mushrooms and stuff. There's caves, ravines, all sorts. I thought it'd be just cool to explore and check it out. The water's slightly different on a mushroom biome as well. Uh, so, yeah, let's, uh, we're going to check it out. It's, it's kind of a... Yeah, a very different places is, uh, is the mushroom area. So it is over in uh, in this direction. It is it is a bit of a flight, but we've got the elytra. I did repair my elytra in between episodes, as you can see. Have uh, plenty of my elytra. So yeah, it's in this direction, not too far. But since uh, I moved on to bedrock, the world's infinite. But that does mean that the biomes are a lot bigger than they would be on the Xbox One. That's kind of the uh, the thing. Like they have big biomes. That's one thing that um, Infinite Worlds does bring with it. And I don't think there was a setting to choose small biomes or something. But, but maybe there was. I. Uh, you know, anyway, these are big biomes, putting it out there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and carry on. It's nicely that far now. Um, we've just got a, a few thousand blocks further to go. All right, I think we're getting near now. Yeah, you can see it loading in. Look at this. It's a cool frozen ocean with all of, uh, of this going on. Looks really, really, really cool. I love uh, these new icebergs and stuff. And then here's the mushroom biome. So how cool does this look? Let's fly up a bit higher. Let's, let's get a better look at it, okay? Look at that. Doesn't it look cool the way it just connects up to it and stuff? And then we've got an entire mushroom biome all the way here it's uh, it's huge as uh, so there's mushrooms around as you can see and then next to a mesa biome how cool is that there's a uh, coral reef just underwater here as well um so this is a really really cool place it's quite far you can see the coordinates it's a long long way away but it is um yeah a really 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 cool place i love it so um yeah i thought I'd explore it so first things first the water looks a little different doesn't it um so let's uh, let's do a little a little 360 landing 360, 720, or whatever you want to do. Um, you can see the water's very different. If we swim in it, look at it. It's kind of like being in a swamp biome, like, for vision. It's very, very uh, dark. It's like a purpley color. Um, I do like it, though. I do uh, I do like it. I think it I think it works being different. You know, I do like the way the bedrock does have different water for different biomes. Uh, like, a swamp biome is very, very dark indeed. This is like a purpley kind of water. Look at this. And then it changes to the blue water. Of, uh, of the ocean. So I, I really like that. I'll just uh, put that out there. I think water looks so good on bedrock. Like, it was like the worst thing. Like, I remember before I went onto the bedrock, like, the thing that was holding me back was like, the water looks so bad. Like, it looks terrible. But then aquatic update, it just looks so nice and turquoise. I, I love it. So that's the first thing. Cool. The water's different here. Um, look at the speed we're going with these elytra. Uh, we've also got loads of mushrooms. Well, for all your mushroom stew, if you shear a mushroom, it will become a regular cow. I'm not going to do that because these guys are happy. Uh, it's just like some mythical place almost, you know, and uh, I've never been to one before, uh, like this big, basically, in my world, because, you know, the, 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 they're quite rare, basically. <laughs> so it's really cool to find. Um, if we look over here, we have uh, the icebergs. I think there's polar bears. I've had bad experiences with you guys, haven't I? Yeah, so there's probably blue ice down here, so we have a little look. Yeah, you can kind of, I saw it down there. Yeah, you see, there's the blue ice. Uh, very, very cool stuff. Takes ages to mine. I won't be getting any today. I don't need any. Um, there was more to see on this mushroom biome as well. I think there was a huge ravine. And like I said, the beauty of this is monsters don't spawn here, okay? So whilst on the mushroom biome, we can go in caves. We can go anywhere, like above, and it can be nighttime. And nothing's going to spawn, which I think is a pretty... Uh, a pretty amazing thing, really. Like, I think it's just a cool little nifty feature. Makes these worth finding. Worth building your house in, to be honest. This is the kind of place, like, if I was to do it again, I'd, I'd build a house here. I don't know if I'd be able to, in this world, do it again. I'd, I don't know. Because where I built my house is a good place for things to be around. I wouldn't build it on this specific island. There wouldn't be enough space. But you get the idea. It's a cool place to uh, to build your house, isn't it? So let's just go and uh, 
fly of it. There is a ravine. I want to check it out. It's a really cool ravine. I don't know if you get igloos on frozen oceans either. It would be uh, really cool if you... There we go. There's the ravine. It's over here. I'm completely missed it, but even this archway is cool. Okay, so I, 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 I'm tempted to try and fly through it, to be honest. I kind of uh, scared out, you know, uh, scared out of it, that one. Yeah, backed out to those scared, but not that time. Right, should we fly in the ravine? Oop, do a little uh, twirl. Yeah, I'm not flying straight in. Let's just land in the water. Okay. So, there's a big ravine here, and uh, we can go in here without fear of worrying. Okay, there's water down there. Do you think I'll, I'll make it? Here we go. There we go, made it. Um, yeah, we can go in here, and it can be dark and stuff, and there's no fear that there's going to be mobs to attack me, okay? As long as I I'm in the mushroom biome when I go into the caves, uh, there's, there's no fear of that, okay? So, that's uh, it's a cool way to cave in these. If you find these, it's probably worth going for a bit of a caving journey. Um, so, let's go. Is iron there? I don't need iron anymore. I got all the iron I needed. Okay, let's swim up here. I love this as well. Look look at this, the way you swim. Okay, let me try and do it again. Okay. Uh, so you swim, and you kind of just swim. It's hard to show it, but you kind of just swim out of the water and something. It's kind of like you swim upwards really fast, don't you? All right, let's get back up above here if we can. Um, let's see if there's anything at the end of this ravine. Sometimes you get caves at the end of ravines, but a lot of the times it doesn't work out like that. Okay, this is going to be a little bit... Uh, a bit difficult. Let's just, let's dig around it. Probably the smartest idea, isn't it? So up here we go. Uh, anything at all? See, notice we haven't run into a single mob yet. Uh, it doesn't look like there is uh, anything particularly out here. Um, nope. I'm just trying to see if there's any caves. Oh, there is a little cave offshoot here. Okay. This is where you get ravines, little offshoots. It is a dead end. Okay. Let's see if there's any others. Oh, there's one on the other side. Maybe this one will be more promising. Okay. Don't miss this jump. Let's, uh, let's put a piece of stone and through here we go. Alrighty, what have we got around here? Um, I say, so what is this? This must be because in an ocean biome, remember caves in ocean biomes, they look like this. Let's put on our, our things. Yeah, cave in ocean biomes are flooded and it looks like we've just met an ocean biome, which means, yeah, I always think it's cool. Like here we are in, in, in an ocean, we're swimming underwater. We swim back around here and the part where the ocean biomes, it's like the flooded caves meet the regular caves, as you can see. So that's all flooded, but then through here, we're back in the mushroom biome, so we've not got any flooded uh, stuff to worry about. So you can kind of tell what biome you're in from down here as well. I can tell I'm still in a mushroom biome, I'm still safe. There's no mobs, as you can see, not a single mob. You would normally get mobs all over the place in here, wouldn't you? 100%. But because of the biome I'm in, I'm completely safe. Um, we're actually quite, well, I was about to say we're quite low down. We're not really. I went, we were for a second, then I went quite high up there, didn't I? <laughs> I went really high. So, um, oh, what have we got through there? Is that a mob? Okay, well, we must not be in the mushroom biome now. You know what, just to prove a point, I'm going to have to dig straight up and uh, and show you what biome we're in, okay? Otherwise, this is something's gone wrong here. So, in theory, it's not flooded, so I don't know. We can't be in the ocean biome, maybe? I don't know what part of the biome we're in. We must be in a bit of an offshoot bit then, maybe, where it's not quite flooded, but it's it's not the mushroom biome either. Let's have a look. Let's, let's just dig straight up. This is probably a bad idea, because if I get, like, I don't know, gravel or something, it's going to... It's going to be quite painful. If it is a mushroom biome, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, so it is the mushroom biome, but I guess it's not properly part of the mushroom biome. Yeah, it's kind of like he's, like he must have spawned around where it was in this middle bit where it's part water, but not enough to be flooded. It's not even gone dark, has it? Oh, it's going dark. I want to I wanna wait till it goes dark and then uh, show you this place at night and you'll see not a single mob will spawn around here. All right, it is now nighttime, and I must say, this place looks really beautiful at nighttime. It's, it's like a really deep purple, does the, my, the mycelium goes really like, yeah, really purpley. Um, looks really cool, and uh, you'll see not a single mob about. Um, I don't know if they'll be able to spawn on the icebergs. Can they spawn on ice? Yeah, you can see, so these mobs, right, this isn't working, is it? No, look, they're not working. Oh, no, straight into them. Uh, so they spawned on the ice, but they're not spawning out here, are we? I think if I go like that, and now when I try to fly with it, it should, uh, should work. Polar bear's got a bit lost. You're in the wrong biome, mate. Just put it out there. You, um, you're a little bit off, uh, off course. Just gonna let you know. <laughs> so now I should be able to fly. Ooh, okay, I can't even fly it on. I mean, Elytra didn't even open. Let's try it again. You can see they're spawning all over the ocean, uh, all over the ice. But in the, uh, in the mushroom biome, the mushroom biome, I mean, not a single one about. Just, uh, just mushrooms and a random polar bear. <laughs> but no mobs at all. So I think this, this is such a cool place. A cool place to just build your house and spend your day. So that would be cool to explore one of these. Show you it off a bit. Uh, show it off to you a bit. Because like I say, I haven't really um, done that yet. Have I in... Uh... Yeah, in this uh, in this world, so in this entire series, never really done that properly. I actually want to go down. Look at that! It's, you can see where it connects to the ocean biome. It's not quite water, but it is in the ocean biome because it goes green. And that's where that that zombie will have spawned because he couldn't spawn anywhere else. So he was going to spawn there. I kind of want to pick up a um, a fish as well, if possible. Here we go. We've got a little school of fish. Let's uh, let's try and find one that looks cool. Okay, I want to take one home with me uh, for, to be put in the fish tank. 
possibly next episode. This guy, I like him. He looks kind of cool. Oh, I like that one as well. What's this one? I can't follow him. I'm messing up. Look at you. Can I pick you up? Okay, these are always, always a difficult task. There we go. We got him. We got ourselves a candy floss better. I like it. I like it a lot. So we're going to go and swim out of here now. Um, yeah, get up, uh, get up out of here. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. So make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video. And also subscribe if you're new to the channel uh, for daily videos of Minecraft. So yeah, as I said, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully I will see you guys next time. <laughs>